Okay, before we get started, so if it freezes up, don't worry, I'll be, I'm still here. Just get ready for your stretch. Back. So, I wonder if mom wants to. Okay, we're back. All right, episode six. Episode six. Six. We've got our Christmas bear. Can you see our Christmas tree? I like Christmas tree. All right, here we go. I'm Miranda Esmond White. Thank you for joining me for a classical stretch workout here in Montego Bay, Jamaica, in the Rose Hall District, right in front of that very salty, inviting Caribbean Sea that I will be in right after I finish this workout. So let's get going. Now this is a workout and it's the whole series is for health and fitness. And I've been getting a lot of really amazing stories that I've been sharing with you on this series. And one of them was from Elizabeth, who at age 56, arms above your head, decided to lose weight. She was 165 and she took six months of sensible eating and she went down to 130. And she did the classical stretch program. Okay, open your arms, open in. She did the classical stretch, a uh, classical stretch workout every day, which helped her lose the weight. Exercise is essential in weight loss, but it's not essential for what people think it is. For it's needed to keep your muscles strong and toned and not being eaten as you lose weight. If you don't diet, if you don't exercise while you're dieting, then people always regain the weight and regain more. Oh, now, it was three years ago that sorry. Elizabeth did that All diet right. and she's kept the weight off because she keeps exercising. I guess mom didn't know that it was a YouTube video. And it's muscles no, the that running low. burn the calories. Well, oh my so if you don't use low. your muscles, then you're going to burn the muscles and you're not going to burn the fat that you're hoping to burn as you're, you're I need the juice in two places you need a cord over there? I got one. no i need to just charge up my phone at night because i know i want to record it losing weight so sensible diet and regular exercise the calories so if you don't use your muscles, then you're going to burn the muscles and you're not going to burn the fat that you're hoping to burn as you're losing weight. So sensible diet and regular exercise and you'll lose the weight. So now pull in your stomach and just sweep to the floor. And you're going to press down, use your lower back, sweep to the floor. Sweep to the floor, slowly build it up. You want to use a lot of pressure on your spine to fight with your arms, so make this resistance upwards. And slowly, like to the ceiling, you want to get right through the rib cage and a little waist rotation. Swirl around. And when you do a waist rotation, make sure that you're pulling upwards, that you're not crunching down on the spine. So you've got to pull up, 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 up until you touch the ceiling of your room. Don't touch the walls, touch the ceiling. All right, now you're going to push an invisible piano. Pull the donkey. You're going to lift the arms in a big circle up. Lower them down and go to the other side. So we're working the spine. Push an invisible piano. Pull on an invisible donkey, rounding your back. Big circle up, big circle down. Lower your body, roll up one vertebra at a time. Do the same thing again. Push, pull, big circle, up. Open your chest right down to the floor. 
and slowly up. So we're really working in a very rotational fashion. We flexion and extension of the spine, up and around. We're gonna start again. Wash down, use those hips, big legs. And sweep forward a little bit. Elongate your arms. So you're gonna go as far away as you can, stretching it. And sideways, work through your ribs. Work through those ribs. Ceiling, waist rotation. Up. And waist rotation in the other direction. Right up. You're going to drop one arm down, lift it up, and open it behind you to get those pecs. Arm down. Open up to get your pectorals. Stretch it right out. Down. Lift. Stretch on your pectorals. Down. Up. So you're now you're going to use one arm only. Hold the other one. And you're going to draw a circle. Half a circle. Draw half a circle. Use your legs. Shift side to side. And shift side to side. So really lengthen your arm. Pull that arm in front. Side to other side. Up. Pull. Stretch that arm. Pull. So work the arm and it'll work your waistline. It'll work through the abs. Change your arms. Up. Pull those arms back. And press behind you. All right. So just shake, shift out. You're going to kick your leg in front, arm in front, and pull on a rope, okay? So same time, kick, kick, and down, kick, and down, kick, and down, kick, down, kick, and down, down, kick, down, kick. Now you're going to kick to the side. These are kind of pony karate. Kick, and down. You can use your arms a little bit if you're going to elbow someone. Down. Other side to the front. Kick. Right to the back. Get, a, get that calf stretched. Pull. So you're pulling on a rope. Pull. 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 This is your last one. To the whoa, there we go. You see her kick the sand. The sand is loose here. That's and awesome. down. Yeah, look where she's at. Down and kick. Oh, this is nice. your seventh one. Eight. A little faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sideways. Kick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Other front. Two, three. Get some speed going. Five, six, seven. Sideways. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's enough with the legs. Sharp, sharp with those arms. Down, down, five, six. Pull from the ceiling. Eight, tight, 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 tight ceiling. Twice more. You lock Without it. Without crunching up lock the shoulders. It. Lock it, lock it. Bend. Tight, tight, lock it, lock it, lock, lock, in, out, in, out, and cross, big open, down, stretch your chest, and cross, open, stretch your chest, take one arm, pull it right back, and the other elbow, pull it right back. Now, put your feet parallel. You're gonna bend your knees. Imagine you have a beach ball between your legs and you're gonna squeeze those legs and engage the inside muscles of your thigh. Relax down, do it again. Squeeze those legs. Stretch down and again, squeeze those legs. One more time. Squeeze those legs so you really work 
those inner thighs which tend to get very droopy and soft. Okay, bend your knees and stretch your legs. Pulling the abs down and up. As you're doing the knee bend, make sure your back is absolutely flat. Now you can put your hands in your knees, bend forward. Force those legs open and you're gonna to shift to one side and really work one groin. Shift to the other side and work the other groin. Bend your knees and really push those knees open. Round, drop down, up. Do it again, slowly down for four. Slowly up, forcing your legs out, keeping your back against an invisible wall. Stretch and lift. Reach those arms. Reach and use the arms to lengthen your spine. So you don't waste anything when you do a hospital stretch, which is a full body program. You want to work your full body. Okay, down you go. Lift one heel, the other heel. Up, down, shift your weight, lift both heels. Shift your weight, lift both heels. One arm over, and you're gonna lift both your heel. Bend, lift both heels. Bend, lift both heels. Drop down, move around, roll up, and bend, lift your heels. Shift to one side, lift your heels. Shift to your other side. This is really gonna engage all the hamstrings and your quads. Stretch over, lift both heels up, bend a little further, lift your heels. Now really work your side muscles, down and up. Stretch, with both arms up, bend your elbows and pull your elbows back. Now let go with the fingers, hold your fingers just very lightly and pull the arms down, stretch out. Take your hand and gently pull that arm down. Stretch out and come up. Bend the elbows. Just using the fingers together to open the elbows. Bend over. Elongate your arms. Stretch them out. Take your fingers, but very gently. Use them to go down to really stretch your ribs. And when you come up, that's thinning out, strengthening your muscles. All right, so now find a mat and we're going to go and do some floor work. Side leg lift. Now you want to make sure that your knee is pointing straight towards the television set. Flex your foot. Do it. Let's move this down. Hey there. We're going to move this down since we are now on the floor. How are you? Hey, people. Uh, we're about to finish finish this up here. Just wanted to make sure. There we go. All right. Okay. An internal rotation and like, try to lengthen the joint between your thigh and your hip. So pull that leg out, lift up or lie flat, but never put your head Don't in your hands because you'll hurt your spine. Like pull, lift, do this, down, do this. and up. Down and lift, tummies tight and up fast. One, two, eight of them, four, five. Really pulling on that leg. Point one, down, two, down. Pull it as hard as you can. Don't, don't contract. In eight, one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to do a circle, tiny little circle, and stop. Circle, stop. Other way, stop. Circle. Stop Ooh. and stop. Circle, stop. Circle, stop. Circle. Last time. Flex. Back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Touch the toe to the floor and down. 
and down. And five, and six, and seven. Get ready, bring the leg in, and forward, bend. One, and forward. Third time, and four, you're gonna do eight, five, six, seven. Now we're gonna do circles, four of them. One, oh. two, three, other direction. One, two, three, and four. Lift, down, lift, down, lift, and get ready, change your sides. Okay. As quickly as you can so you don't waste any time. Uh. Then you come in, get in a nice clean position, flex your foot, lift. Lift. So you're going to be feeling this working through those hips, through the glutes, slenderizing your legs. <sighs> Up, two, three, and four. Eight of them, five, six, seven, and eight. Point, down, up, down, and up. Down, one more, and eight. Up, and five, six, circle and stop. Circle. Stop and circle and stop. These are part of the reason why Elizabeth lost weight and slenderized and toned her whole body because they're really burning calories and you're really working to thin out your muscles. Now you're going to flex your foot. Toe down, toe down, toe, and down, and Two more, and here you go. This is your last one. Bring the leg in, forward. You're gonna feel this through the glutes, eight of these. And five, deep breathe with your movement. This is your seventh, and eight, circle. Four of them, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four, press down, two, three. Four and just oh, hit your hips because they're probably a little seized up. And ah, get ready. That was nice. to do some sit ups. Lie flat. And hands under your head. You're going to start lifting up and down. Breathe out. And breathe out. Breathe out fast and that shortens the muscle. Now you're going to lift the leg, drop the arm up. Flex your foot. Should we be working those abs? And up, point, two. Now, some people find this hard on the neck. So if you do, you can put your hand under your head to support nice. your head as you lift. Or some people don't want to do it at all with their bodies. They just use their legs. You can always adjust the workout. Okay, bring the leg in, in. In, trying to touch the shoulders with the knee. Now we're going to do in with a kick. Up, in, up, and in, up, and in, up. Change your legs. Just the knee in, eight of them. Five. Now add the kick. Up. And in. Now we're going to do sharp bicycles. So just get the bicycle slow, just to get the technique going. Use your abs to force the back flat. Now we're going to go very sharp with the leg. And that makes your back and your abs have to tighten as you lower quickly. So they contract and they pull in. Just a different way to strengthen the abs. 
Now we're going to do sharp little pedals. So we're just going to flex the feet, push just to get the concept of a pedal. Now sharp. Faster. I bet your stomach's feeling the work. Bring the knees in and up. If you can't keep your legs straight, just bend your elbows, I mean your knees, to one side. That little exhale as you go up helps to collapse the ribs and shorten the stomach muscles, which strengthens them. All right, bring your legs in, cross your leg over, just push the knee down, lift your leg up, and move your hips around. So now you're going to put the foot back flat, cross the leg right over, so that you want to feel a stretch in those hips. Lift your leg up and bring the legs right into your chest, which means that you have to roll on the spine. So you're going to stretch out your lower spine, put the back flat down, and pull the legs in again. Bend your legs. Foot on the knee, press that leg outwards, and then lift up, and you'll feel this in the hips. Just move around, and down you go. Cross those legs over, so one is in front of the other. Lift your legs up, pull the knees into your chest, and the little pelvic tilts as you roll right up on your spine. Try to put your hips back down. Just move around. Legs down. You're going to get the IT band, which is a nice muscle that works to support your knees. You want to rotate the leg within the joint, internally rotate it, and drop it down. And when you drop it down, that's when you feel the IT band. Use your hand and gently press down and pull forward. Gently down and forward. Really, really important that you work this muscle. A lot of people that do sports, you know, the old weekend warrior or even high performance athletes don't stretch this muscle enough and they're very tight and it ends up causing them a little bit of just move your hands around a little bit of knee pain, unnecessary knee pain, a little bit of back pain and knee pain because it's contracting around the joint. Anytime you shorten your muscles, you don't lengthen them, the joints squeeze together and in your joints are where the nerves are. So as the joints squeeze together, that's what pain is. The joints start rubbing because there's no fluid synovial fluid lubricating the joints and it causes pain and the, the pain comes from the, the nerve endings so you just pull them apart and the la voila the pain disappears all right so bring the knee right into your chest shift your hips around stretch your leg if you can to straighten the knee and you're going to feel your hamstring being stretched that's the muscle underneath your leg flex your foot point your foot and pull it down we're just going to go between flexing and pointing and pulling. Flexing and pointing and pulling. Sort of walking down the stairway as the muscles release their tension. Okay, now you're going to go open, cross your leg, open it out, and cross it over. And open it out. So you're getting a little bit of the flexibility of the full joint. Change your legs. Bring the knee in. Stretch up that leg. Okay, so you're going to get the other hamstring. Flex your foot. Point. Breathe out and pull. Flex. And pull. Point. And pull. Okay, so now we're going to open it a little bit sideways. And cross it over. So you get a nice stretch through the whole joint. Pull your leg and cross it over bend your knees so just sit up put your feet in front of you bending the legs so that you're as tall as you can be hold on to your knees and arch your back popping the chest and the weight forward stretch your neck 
straighten up your neck. Now straighten up your spine and drop the head. Drop the head forward, sideways, and up. You're going to pull right forward, dropping your head down. Cross to one foot and stretch as much as you can through your back. Other foot. And if you want to see results the way Elizabeth did, she does this program on a daily basis and has been doing it for three years. So she's managed to keep that weight off and keep her body in really good shape. So see you soon. Oh. So, hey, thanks for coming in and uh, joining that. And uh, yeah, we're going to be doing this some more. So tune back in. I'm on the other uh, social media platforms um, and figuring out where I want to do this on a daily basis and some of my other stuff that I'm working on and that I like to bring bring to your living rooms or cars or wherever you are. So, all right, thank you. Uh, comment, share, subscribe, hit that little bell button, like all that and try these out. And uh, hopefully I can start my module, <laughs> start my first module here uh, and start teaching this myself. So, wow, thanks for the Weird comments, y'all. Try stretching. <laughs> Bye. Hi, Danny.